I should have captured the white interior in the first place. Better if you do it rather than a competitor. It's got the rooftop installed right above. Yes. Welcome to Car C in Korea. I introduce newly released Genesis Hyundai in Kia Cars. And as you saw from the thumbnail today, I'm here to tell you 2024 Hyundai all new Santa Fe. Let's get inside. HDA and ADOS related buttons on the left. The volume, this is for the phone and the media and etc. Look at this design. Instead of having just straight design that we saw on Granger before, space to hold on to, especially in the middle. Of course, you have to have your hand on the three and nine o'clock for maximum safety. And that is the correct way of holding a steering wheel. But on long distance drives, I actually do like placing my hand right here in the middle and the best part the upgrade that the Santa Fe has got is the touch sensitive steering wheel unlike the torque bases now it's touch sensitive with a gentle grip using your fingers the car will know that you are having your hands on the steering wheel so that is actually a day and night difference when it comes to long distance drives you guys know what I mean if you've been there before so let's go about the display right here 12.3 inch monitors dual screens left and right nothing in the middle just yet Kia EV9 they actually had their HVAC here in the middle installed so that being said Hyundai could have done it if they wanted to however they have a lot dedicated right in the middle for that and also Santa Fe Bing it's actually much lower compared to the other EVs so that is probably one of the reasons why a great HUD of course no doubt comes with the HDA2 top of the line Line that Hyundai Motor Group has to offer. I would actually need a precise number on this one, but it is the largest HUD that we have seen from the Hyundai Motor Group. Just look at this. There you go, opens both ways. How brilliant is that? And then underneath, loads of space for your Clorox wipes. And then the multi-layering you can see here, package space, package space. Give it, give it space to the customer. And I see that you still have not given up on that storage right there exactly. where you can just throw your smartphone in. Simple section, H lighting on the interior, which you have on the exterior as well. So it's just some lovely touches. Quick interview with uh, Simon Lofsby, the man in charge with the design. But as we just heard from him, there are just so many design inputted into the even the interior curvature within the Santa Fe. So much so, they probably saved it for the interior because it was just more like a rigid line on the exterior, as you can see over there. However, the exterior isn't all that straight line and rigid either. If you take a look at it closer, you can see the crazy curve for the design place they are using the OTA over the air updates and now you have your system up to date whenever and wherever you are you will have the access to this latest tech with this Santa Fe so long as you own the vehicle one of the highest tech Santa Fe is this 2.0 onboard camera but it comes with the digital side here, just like that, the display right here, you can go into the different settings, change the lights while parked and driving events, parked events, which you can download all of them real time and view them real time using your smartphone. So it's all readily available. You see, you can have the time lapse too and the live view cam, just like that. The second camera that we have on the trunk and also one on the front, the drive mode button, Okay, so you just push it up and down in order to go into Eco, Normal, My Drive. Very intuitive and the buttons are just humongous as you can see. Buttons that are frequently used within your reach and it's readily accessible. This is not the number of wireless charging pads, but rather it shows the status of the charging. Underneath the driver's seat, of course, the metal foot brake and the accelerator right here. The giant, giant foot rest, multi-way sits, and of course comes with the memory seat two memory seats right here and I wonder what the first one is that probably is all right so it is the ergo motion seat pelvic lumbar and whole body support we know that if you have been in one of the Genesis before so I really love that Hyundai brought the ergo motion seat to the Santa Fe kind of upscaling this vehicle to that of the flagship category of Hyundai a uh, palisade is still king of it all from Hyundai family however Santa Fe is definitely bringing the game to the market I can see that there is an ambient light starting right there that runs all the way across 
across just like so and also is continued all the way to here that is also an ambient light as well same color as this one straight lines kind of going together with this design over here as well floating ambient light are you there yes you are so this is also one of the latest ambient lights that Hyundai is doing there is an ambient light underneath the display as well I don't think there will be an ambient light right here in the sunroof Genesis G90 currently has that is probably the only one out to this date so we don't see that on Santa Fe however gigantic sunroof one on the front so it's not the panoramic sunroof however it's still big enough so other self-explanatory buttons this is the setup for the seat you can have and you also have thigh support that massive center console that Simon talked about you can literally throw your purse in here you don't need to worry about the size and storage when it comes to this Santa Fe and let's go check out what's underneath the hood of this Santa Fe there's already one open over there there is only two models here in Korea a gasoline and hybrid model not sure which model that is but we will soon find out the gigantic emblem so this is the turbo model look at the massive engine bay lower to the ground and that means much more stability better RNH ride and handling the work that they have done and of course paying close attention to a easy maintenance frequently changed items such as this cabin filter pop the hood reach over and then you can actually take out the filter oh my god look at this I am doing it with a single hand I can do it with a single hand on your own just like that super easy just like that and let me show you what that car has the motor that this car is running so let's check really like that it comes with the gas lift of course so it is actually the same engine as this one to that one let's go check out some other ones third rows completely folded and look at the hump right there and the cup holders this is what I was really curious about that is the handle and also the maximum support that it has for your information refer to what I've been doing you can actually use this as your hold to allow yourself to climb up the roof of this vehicle and this portion here alone can actually withhold up to 200 kilograms so don't worry about it no matter how hard you shake this thing it's going to be sturdy and firm this if you're worried about this flapping all the way up and down during your drives don't worry about it that is also going to lock so that way you're not going to be able to press this down at the moment this is all manual and I think this will come super handy when you're actually going for a car wash and actually boost up one more time and easily reach over to the top of Santa Fe just like this actually Hyundai has gone above and beyond with this one because they have the off-road concept which is fully equipped I'll show you a close look of it on the outside I have this entire view to myself oh my god and also just check out this gigantic panoramic sunroof the second row seat gets the automated seat just like that you gotta find out what that is exactly but there is a lock and unlock button for seat slides the hooks on the second row seat Santa Fe design even inside and just one more thing if you actually pull it up you can use this as a coat hanger just practical practical and customer centric customer driven design everywhere inside out now the second row door comes with a manual sunshade just like that and wow I finally get to see it in person you see how massive the second row window is that is the first row window by this is it's just so much bigger and I think even the door kind of stretches out even further than the first row seats just look how gigantic the door is so roll down the window I mean that is still a plenty of a size for you to enjoy the outside of this quarter glass right here still a beautiful bonus to get better to have extra window and glass than nothing the door handle wow really love the luxurious finish that they have done bringing back the wood the wooden interior Hyundai is just reverting back to original concept of an SUV a robust masculine design using that wood cup holders you have two pull it back up using that so it's all manual 
but it's just so easily and well thought out. I'm doing everything with single hand, left hand, as you saw, I'm holding a camera on myself. It goes same for the right seat and you can fold the second row seat automatically. SC type charging ports, AC vent exclusively for the third row seat and you can control it, have it all to yourself. Massive decoder glass. That is the third row seat. Don't get me wrong, not the second row seat. That is the third row seat. And the three point seat belt, even for the third row seat, enhanced safety. And that is the same for the left seat as well. And that nice little clip. And oh, so I see the dial is only on the right side, not the left. And you see that carved indentation right there? Grab onto it and you can let yourself into the third row easy. Hooks for your luggage mats and cargo net, just like that. Open this up and it seems like that is the room for the extinguisher. Let me, oh my God. You see this trunk is massive, massive. But don't worry, actually Santa Fe comes with the tech. Using the cameras here, the car will tell you if there is enough space for the trunk lid to be opened without touching its surroundings. So right inside, now I can finally get to touch it. There are buttons right here underneath the rubber part, of course, and the LEDs are all hidden here. Simply just press on that and it is going to pop up. Design engraved right into the trunk as well. Just look at this car. It's unique of its kind all inside out. The one keyword that Hyundai has concentrated on with Santa Fe is what's called chabak here in Korean. Spending the time and weekend, the camping sites and also the national parks, ocean, mother nature, you name it. And that place is now your home with your Santa Fe. And that's what Hyundai design team really wanted to do with this Santa Fe because it was the era of COVID when this Santa Fe was being developed. So that is the one of their key. <laughs> Very nice. Not sure. seems like now is the perfect time. No, it's just me. Here we go. Uh, I guess, well, there's the video shooting right there. So let me get a mic for you. To Nine millimeters CD. reduces the drag coefficient by another 1,000. So we add these thousands up. I mean, give it or take, I was maybe thinking 100th. We talk about counts in design. How many counts do we get? That got one count, which is 1,000. All of the shape around, this is the separation edge. So this gentle acceleration, we're closing the shape at the back of the car. So we're separating the air here, along here, and along this edge, the wiper. The wipers too. Yeah. It seems like it goes all the way down to- Yeah, 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 it comes down just right above here. At a glance, it really looks straight lines everywhere, masculine and rigid lines, yeah. points. Well, also not to mention sure. the cladding there. Yeah. The more time I spend with the car, I see more of a curvature. Yeah, well, I am actually the fascinated trick. by how round that, it is. You, that's the point. A lot of people online, when you see pictures, think, oh, it's just rulers. This curvature accelerates, mm -hmm. tightens up to the corner. This section inside is the section of the welding tool on manufacturing. So we get as small as we can to widen the tailgate. So everything's got this gentle acceleration. Otherwise, it looks hollow. And let me bring the camera real quick. Without even yeah. asking you, yeah. I know that this serves a purpose as yeah, well. Yeah, this edge controlling the airflow. This whole edge all the way around the car, that's your separation. But if you look down the car, you see this curvature, the acceleration here. The car's not straight. People think it's straight. We move the light away from the strut because inside the tailgate, this space, we're putting a light up here, this is right in the middle of all this tech. So we move the light underneath that out of the way and then we compress the water channel here so we've got the biggest possible aperture. So we've got 1,275 millimeters, which means we can take a golf bag in transversely and just put it in the back. Seems like this will make a perfect shelter This is rain. the terrace. This is your terrace here. Third row, second row, fold completely flat. Get and yourself an inflatable mattress and your chat back. Shade from sun and that's, that's your terrace out here. Easily accommodate yeah. like 180 yeah. centimeter tall. Yeah. Better if you do it rather than a competitor. It forces us to challenge ourselves more. Go further and do better and be more innovative. And of course there are manufacturers who already claimed this boxy edgy design but seeing it in person once again this is Hyundai of its own uniquely Hyundai that is for certain I like your description of uniquely Hyundai <laughs> and it's, I mean we we also went a long way for one of our topics was making use of this space I don't know whether you looked at this earlier I did I did I was hanging on to it <laughs> hang on to it and just did you ever get up to load your roof any easier than that it's just it's such a nice touch but still we slimmed the package down so you have great visibility out of the window from the third row. 
So it's a full three row, and we have 50 millimeters more rear row space than today's car. So loads more headroom as a consequence of this high roof. All around the car, it's been a lot of fun. You heard it straight from the man in charge of the design. What is Santa Fe to you? Just it's the box. to say. It's the box. It's the box, the box. All right, thank you. Thanks a lot. Now is the time that we've been all waiting for. It's got the rooftop installed right above. And let me show you all about it up close and let's get to it. This is a genuine accessory that Hyundai will be selling. It also hit me up. As soon as this is in stock, I will be able to ship it out to where you are. So hit me up on WhatsApp and I'll leave it in the comment below and also description. So hit me up over there. I will try to give you the best quote possible. That is the black ink edition that I I have spotted i have gone through a detailed exterior review of this car once again really great seeing you here officially and uh well let's see if it's still single exhaust tip yep it still is a single exhaust right here and same for that one over there they only have two engine choices as I have mentioned. So that is the reason why we only see one exhaust tip, but depending on a country to another and definitely for North American market, you will get bigger engine. That means you will get two exhaust tips. And because you see the lines here is already all cut and ready. You see the member there, the chassis over there. It is already fully capable of equipping the dual exhaust tips left and right. So don't you worry about it. Some of you mentioned and pointed out that that is a deal breaker for you. But again, don't worry about it. That is not just for the looks. You can actually close the trunk. And look at this color too, the olive color. I will give you the precise color on the screen right now. Looks much beautiful in person under a sunlight. A direct sunlight, just boiling hot summer here in Korea. The white interior, Hyundai does it better than anybody else, I dare to say. Maybe Tesla, <laughs> but still, it's a beautiful white interior. Absolutely gorgeous. I mean. Yes, white is going to get much more dirtier than a darker color. Every time you hop in the car, that is the one thing that you see first. And you actually spend much more time inside a car looking at your car than the outside, right? So I would strongly recommend that you go with the beautiful color, color of the interior that suits your needs and that you like because you're not going to be owning and driving the car forever, right? For the time being, I'd rather have a beautiful interior color that meets my need, that suits my taste, just like this Santa Fe right here. Slots for your document and other storages, same thing for both of the seats. This is the interior of the white from the second row seat. Just massive tray right there that you can have two charging ports right there. I should have captured the white interior in the first place. It's absolutely gorgeous. And the olive interior, the two-toned interior, the upcycled and recycled material. Last time I saw something like this, they actually made it out of a compressed newspaper. And I have a feeling that this is exactly it too two cup holders just a beautiful door handle so this is the same wheel that we saw on black ink edition it's actually called black ink because it originates from what's called muck in korean that is a uh, one of the very old time ink that koreans have used to make the writing and that is where the name has originated from just the black ink has the blacked out wheels different to this one the suspension is not air suspension as i have shown you with the white review car this is not electronically controlled suspension however it has the dampers that react to the frequencies and provide a different handling using the hydro bushing that has been applied to this santa fe once again the beautiful calligraphy model out in the wild Good to see you again here, but just an absolutely beautiful car. Just look at that, insane. So it's got the whole tool list set up right there, as we can see. The name that you can trust and rely on. You got the whole flat bed right here up on your rooftop, just like that. And as for the color of this car, I will be including in the card above. Please refer to that. It's not too edgy, it's not too round, and all, of course, coefficient of drag the resistance to the air matters when it's actually installed on top the rooftop and the Hyundai H logo just distinctive right there 
So this is probably the setup that Hyundai has in mind. By the way, he's a model, so he can be on the film. I asked for the permission. Open this up. You have the entire camping site to yourself, just like that. And this one is also running a beautiful white interior setup as well. Absolutely beautiful. And the suede texture here too. And let me also get some numbers out the way. Korean spec Hyundai Santa Fe comes with two engine choices, which is the 2.5 turbo gasoline and 1.6 turbo hybrid model HEV. For North American market, of course, there will be more extra lineups with the choices, the motors, dual exhaust tip that everybody has been talking about. And it also has a shorter front overhang, which allows the car to have a nimble U-turn and turning radius. You guys all know what I mean by that if you have driven a long overhanged vehicles. I actually found out more detail about the air flap. That is, we can see the exterior active air flap on the top. And also there is one hidden inside the front radiator grill. That being said, guess what the coefficient of drag is with the Santa Fe? despite this car being a boxy, giant size SUV. That is 0.29. I'm not going to name them here, but the competitors out in the market, they actually have 0.31 coefficient of drag. And that is also made possible with a little bit of a curvature right up on the front. So instead of having a rough, straight line front, it has the curvature here that will shoot out the air, hence reducing the overall coefficient of drag. I keep on saying the coefficient of drag, but not only does that help with the MPG, but it also contributes with the NVH noise vibration and harshness that has to do with the vehicle. I really like all the curvature, the detail and the designs that Hyundai has implemented. And a little bit of a black interior Santa Fe as we can all see and look at that ambient light here it's much more distinctive with the black interior and this is the matte color a matte color under a direct sunlight and i just gotta show you this one more time because look at this like of course there is the divider here for you to utilize you know extra space and such but check this out i bet you didn't see this coming even deeper center console in the middle just outrageous you see i can actually put all the way down to my elbow you see that's how deep this is if you see this thing in person, you will be surprised and amazed. I've never seen anything like this before. And of course the LED light right there because you're, not, you're gonna need some light to find things during the nighttime here. So giant tray, look at the size of the tray itself already. This is already huge, but that, Hyundai, you guys are, you guys have done it. And also the both way, the headroom that I get here, I don't even need to show it to you, but this is just like, Gigantic. It just feels exactly like that of the driver's seat. So don't worry at all about the headroom. And I can see that there is the AC vent right here exclusively for the second row seat as well. And I missed out the seat on the third row seat. So I will show it to you right now. This is the rear design with the blinkers on. Last but not least, I didn't show you the third row seat yet, so let me show you just like that. You see the headroom here. It's not exactly the same as that of the second row seat or the driver's seat because we can actually tell from the exterior design because the roof line kind of drops as it goes to the rear of the car. But again, it has no problem fitting an adult here whatsoever. I could easily go for a long distance drive. Perhaps it is more like the leg room that might be lacking for a long distance drive, but there is no problem with the headrest. And also this seat has been pushed all the way to the back for the second row seat. And that is probably the reason why. And it is an experience that I've never gotten before. I'm getting the AC left and right. Because of the AC alone, I might favor the third row seat over the second row seat. I might be exaggerating a little bit. Be sure to give this a try. All right, so getting out of the car, just like any typical SUV, you just get out like so. And this is what the seat looks like.